This is a tutorial on multiplying polynomials. When we talk about multiplying polynomials, the first thing we have to learn is how to multiply monomials. Remember, monomials are just one term polynomials. So let's look at our first example here. We have two monomials multiplied together. We have 17x squared and 2x multiplied together. And since these are all multiplied together, we can think of this as 17 times x squared times 2 times x. And if we write it that way, then I can rearrange this as 17 times 2 times x squared times x. And 17 times 2 is just 34, and x squared times x, well remember x squared is x times x. So we have x times x times x, or x cubed. So these two monomials together equal 34x cubed. Let's try this again. Here we have 15x to the fourth times 4x squared. Well that's the same as 15 times x to the fourth times 4 times x squared. And I can rewrite that as 15 times 4 times x to the fourth times x squared. And 15 times 4, well that's 60. And x to the fourth times x squared, remember you add your exponents when you multiply. So, this would be x to the 6th. So 15x to the 4th times 4x squared is just 60x to the 6th. Let's look at this last example here. We have two variables in here. But that doesn't really change anything. These are all multiplied together. So this is the same as 3 times x times y squared times 5 times x cubed times y. And since these are all multiplied together, I can rewrite this as 3 times 5 times x times x cubed times y squared and times y. Well, 3 times 5 is 15. x times x cubed, remember, add your exponents, and this is to the 1, so this will be x to the 4th. And then y squared times y to the 1 would be y cubed. So our answer then would be 15x to the 4th y cubed. Well, now that we know how to multiply two monomials together, or two terms together, let's talk about multiplying a monomial times a polynomial. We've actually already done this when we subtracted polynomials. Remember, at one point you'd have negative 1 outside the parentheses. And what we did was distribute this negative 1 inside the parentheses by multiplying it with every term inside. So when we do that, we'd have negative 1 times 24x squared. Well, that would be negative 24x squared. Negative 1 times negative 5x squared would be positive 5x squared. And negative 1 times 4 is just minus 4. Well, the same thing works with other numbers other than negative 1. Here we have 5 times 2x cubed minus 10x minus 2. Well, we can distribute this 5 inside the parentheses through multiplication. We just multiply every term by 5. So 2x cubed times 5 would be 10x cubed. Negative 10x times 5 would be negative 50x. And negative 2 times 5 is just negative 10. Well, this also works when we have a monomial outside. We have 2x squared and we want to multiply everything inside the parentheses by 2x squared. So we would have 2x squared times x squared. That's added to 2x squared times a negative 5x. And that's added to 2x squared times y. Well, just like adding two monomials together, we just do that three times. 2x squared times x squared, that's the same as 2 times x squared times x squared. And that would be 2x to the fourth. 2x squared times a negative 5x would be 2 times x squared times negative 5 times x. Or I could rewrite that as 2 times negative 5 times x squared times x. Well, 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. And x squared times x is just x cubed. And if we look at our last set here, we just have 2 times x squared times y. 
Well, you can't simplify that much. So that's just a positive 2x squared y. So our final answer then would be just 2x to the fourth minus 10x cubed plus 2x squared y. Now that we know how to multiply a polynomial by a monomial, let's talk about multiplying binomials. These are basically multiple term polynomials multiplied together. And we've already done this. If you've covered quadratic equations, you can use the FOIL method. The FOIL method states that you multiply the first terms in each binomial together. And then the inside terms of the multiplication Next you multiply the outside terms of the multiplication and then the last two terms. Well realize what's going on here when we use the FOIL method. You're basically taking the first term in your binomial and multiplying it by everything in the second expression. And then you're taking the second term of your first binomial and multiplying that by everything in the second expression. So when we do this, we end up with x times x plus x times 5, and that's plus negative 2 times x, and then negative 2 times 5. x times x is x squared, 5 times x is 5x, negative 2 times x is negative 2x, and negative 2 times 5 is minus 10. If we combine our like terms here, we'd have x squared plus 3x minus 10. But what if these aren't perfect x's? Here we have x squared minus 4 times 3x minus 1. Well, we do the same thing. We take the first term in our first binomial and we multiply it by everything in the second one. And then we take the second term in our binomial and multiply it by everything in the second one. So this would be x squared times 3x and then that's added to x squared times negative 1. That's added to negative 4 times 3x and then negative 4 times negative 1. Now x squared times 3x, I can rewrite as 3 times x squared times x, because they're all multiplied together. And then this would just be 3x cubed. Negative 1 times x squared is just negative x squared. Negative 4 times 3x, well negative 4 times 3 would be negative 12, and then times x, so negative 12x. And then negative 4 times negative 1 is just a positive 4. So here is the solution of our multiplied two binomials. So let's try this one more time. Here we don't have any numbers, we just have variables. We have x squared minus y times x squared plus y. Well, once again, take the first term, you multiply it by everything in the second. Then you take your second term and you multiply it by everything in the second binomial again. So if we do that, we have x squared times x squared then we have x squared times y. Next we'd have negative y times x squared. And then negative y times y. Well, x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times y is just x squared y. Negative y times x squared would be just negative x squared y. And then negative y times y is just minus y squared. Now you can combine these. You have to realize that this is a 1x squared and a negative 1x squared. So these terms are going to cancel and we're just left with x to the fourth minus y squared.